Hi, Amiga. I have another piece here. So I have time to do some help. Here is the story of Maria trying to fix. Maria Montessori was from the country of Italy on the continent of Europe. When she was growing up, many people thought women couldn't do the same jobs as men, but she never let that stop her. When she left school, she became one of Italy's first female doctors. Maria began working with children with learning disabilities. She studied how children learned and tried out new ways of teaching them. And in 1907, she opened her first school in a poor area of Rome. There she developed her idea that the teacher should always follow the child. Here's an illustration. Her first school called Casa dei Bambini, which means children's home. The children were encouraged to do puzzles, cook meals, and learn maths by playing with objects. Maria believed that as children used materials, they were teaching themselves. She wanted teachers to find out what children were interested in and use this to help them learn. Two years after she opened her Casa dei Bambini, Maria set up her own training course for teachers and wrote a book about her way of education. But then in the 1930s, Hitler came to power in Germany and Mussolini became the new ruler in Italy. They shut down Maria's schools and ordered her books to be burned. Maria was forced out of Italy until the end of World War II. Here's an illustration of her with her son Mario. They went to stay in India. She stayed for seven years and she taught the Montessori method to over a thousand Indian teachers. Maria's style of teaching is still used all over the world today. There are more than 22,000 Montessori schools in 110 countries. Here's an illustration of her with something that she said. The child is both a hope and a promise for mankind. Now, perhaps you've heard the story of Maria Montessori because we go to a Montessori school. And some of the things that you work with at your Montessori school are the same materials that she designed over 100 years ago. So let's look at how you might make a book about Maria Montessori. Maria M Mon -ta. Sorry. Now she was from Europe. I remember on our continent map that is in red. It's been a long time since I traced the continent of Europe. I'm not sure exactly how it's shaped. I'll do the best I can. And she was from the country of Italy. Italy. I remember she was the first woman doctor of Italy. First 
Woman. Doctor. When I see a red cross, I think of doctors. What about the picture I'll put? I remember they said that she made some materials to help children learn. Perhaps you remember the pink cubes. That's the material that she designed over a hundred years ago. And also the brown prisms. That's also a material that Maria Montessori designed over a hundred years ago. Maybe you can think of some more to put in your book. Maria Montessori taught teachers how to teach Montessori. And she really thought that peace was important. Peace. And she wanted each teacher to look at each child as an individual. If in the individual. To think about what picture to put in there later. That's my book about Maria Montessori. I wonder which materials you're going to remember about our Montessori school to put in your book. Now, next week, here's your choices for our peacekeeper. Wangari Maathai. She's from Kenya, Africa. or Frida Kahlo, who's from Mexico. You can put your vote in the comments and we'll see who we get to learn about next week. Have fun making books.